This is Brad from Argali, and I'm going to show you how to seam seal our tents. Right behind me, I have our Abzaroka 4P tent set up, but the process is going to be the same whether you have our Rincon 2P or, or our Abzaroka 4P. Now, the reason why you want to seam seal your tent, let me just run through that real quick. Our tents out of the box come highly water resistant because we use a silicone coated thread and that will make your tent really water resistant in many conditions. But in order to make sure your tent is bomb proof and resistant to any water in any condition, we recommend seam sealing it. The great thing about a silicone coated fabric, which is what we use, is it allows you to apply a minimal amount of, um, of silicone to the fabric to achieve a high waterproofness rating. Um, it also increases the tear strength of your fabric, so it makes it um, less, uh, less prone to punctures and tears. The big downside of silicone coated fabrics, though, is you have to seam seal your seams. Um, so lots of upsides for lightweight hunting, slight downside, but it really shouldn't take you more than you know, 10, 15 minutes to seam seal your tent, and then you won't have to do it uh, ever again. So, how do you do it? You need a tube of seam sealant, which comes with all of our tents, and I like to use a glove. You don't need it, but I like to apply the, the seam sealant with my finger. And um, the way I like to do it, and I think the easiest way for a two and four person tent is to pitch your tent inside out, because you want to seam seal the inside seams, not the outside of your tent. So lots of reasons why we do it that way, but just take my word for it, that's what you want to do. If you pitch your tent inside out, you can seam seal all the seams from the outside rather than having to crawl inside the tent and have to try and like get down low and seam seal everything from the inside, which is, which is um, just a little bit more work. So after you get it set up inside out like I have it here, what you really want to do is, is walk around and rub silicone seam sealant, a thin amount of it, a little amount, into all of the steam, seams or anywhere where there is stitching on the tent. The exception to that is the bottom hem of the tent. You don't need to seam seal the bottom hem of the tent, but pretty much everything else needs to be seam sealed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on this glove and I'm going to start seam sealing this thing. Um, and then I won't make you, we'll, we'll speed this up a little bit so you can see how I do it. And any, a couple little tips and tricks, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I like to zip open the tent. That way I can access the top seams from right here and I can sort of get to all of them from inside the tent and then I'll go, I'll walk around the tent and get the bottom half of each of the seams. So it's pretty simple. Just put this on and I'm gonna start getting these seams. When it comes to the zipper, you do wanna get these, uh, the stitching right next to the zipper right here. And so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna rub it in like that. That's really all there is to it. Just a little bit on the finger. And just rub it in. You don't, it does not take much. Okay, just like that. And you should be able to do the whole tent with one tube of seam sealant. All right, so we've got the whole tent seam sealed now. Um, it took me a little bit longer than I thought for the four person, um, but 20 to 30 minutes is, is what it should take you to, to get this thing done. So let me just show you a few places I wanna, you wanna make sure you get. Um, first of all, um, these little door tie off pieces right here, um, you wanna make sure to get a little silicone kind of behind that spot as well as in front of it. Um, and then on the, on the stove jack itself right here, um, you want to make sure and seam seal the, um, the outside seam of the zipper. You don't have to get the inside seam um, of the zipper. And you can see that um, I have not yet seam sealed this, but this seam right here um, is one you want to get. Um, and then the last thing is I like to make sure and get the, um, on the, reinf the, the reinforced fabric along the bottom there, kind of get the top end of that. But again, you don't need to get the bottom portion of the um, uh, of the tent, the hem, the bottom hem down along the bottom. And then last thing I'll show you, sorry Jason, make you walk all over, is on these zippers, you've got dual stitching on either side. Um, it's a bit overkill, but I like to get both sides uh, of that zipper. So 
that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I'm gonna set this up, I'm gonna leave this here for um, probably three hours-ish. Really, it's, it'll be dry in about an hour, depending on how hot it is where you're at. But after three hours, it will be cured and dry, and then you can pack the tent up and go have fun.